Gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Bocceri. The gentleman is recognized for one minute and 30 seconds. Thank you. A request to unanimous consent to revise and extend my remarks. So ordered. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. They're fighting for us. Now we have to fight for them. Every day, thousands of brave Americans are asked to leave the comfort and safety of their homes and their families to fight for our, pre our freedoms abroad. Oftentimes, those soldiers leave behind families who are surviving on credit cards to put food on the table or to clothe their kids as they send them off to school. Some of those brave soldiers deployed to the Middle East, and then they deployed to a forward operating base. As a C-130 pilot, I've delivered mail to those austere and sometimes remote locations. Now, our soldiers who are in the battle every day don't have time to affix a stamp and send off a bill or a statement of their credit card bills back to, to America. But while those soldiers are dodging bullets and IEDs and RPGs, they shouldn't be distracted by concerns about whether they sent their visa bill in on time. Frankly, they're under enough pressure. I know the stresses of a battlefield, and our soldiers shouldn't have to fight the credit card companies when they return because they were defending our country when their bill was due. So I ask you, we've heard a lot about how this bill and amendments could create unintended consequences. Are we going to allow our soldiers and our brave men and women serving in the nation's uniform to be victims of unintended consequences because they're overseas fighting? The industry should be proud to stand by the soldiers and veterans who defend their ability to operate in a safe and secure environment led by a freely elected government. The industry should be willing to take the extra step, to go the extra mile, to show leniency to the military members. Gentlemen's time's expired. The line. Gentleman from Texas.